was like someone was slowly crushing my heart, twisting, grabbing, tearing it. Can't seem to catch itself. It trips over itself. It stumbles. It pumps really, really fast, and then slow, and then fast, and out of time, and then all of a sudden it'll just stop. And I won't feel anything, and then it'll kick back in. The first time that it happens, it was really hard not knowing what it was. We didn't know that it was atrial fib. I didn't even know what that term meant. Being in this group, we travel 300 days a year. It's a very grueling schedule. And you sometimes worry that this pace is going to affect your heart. This is something I live with every day, and I know there's no cure for it yet. Approaching Port Union in the Express, problems have cleared. Uh, bad news, we have a problem. Toronto's a very big city. From space, it looks like one single place. But when you think about it, it is the extraordinary result of millions of individuals working in harmony. Each person has a role to play. Without them, you, me, there would be no Toronto. Like a city, each of us is an extraordinary collection of millions of unique cells, all working together to create a unique you. And without them, we would simply not exist. The sheer scale of it is almost out of this world. Each of us is made up of seven octillion atoms. That's seven followed by 27 zeros. The number of stars in our galaxy is but a small fraction in comparison. And incredibly, every two seconds, your body produces more cells than there are people in Canada. With such an intricate machine, it's not hard to understand that when things go wrong, the consequences can be disastrous. Many of the diseases that afflict the human body, diabetes, leukemia, heart disease, are a result of cellular dysfunction. One of the most incredible medical breakthroughs in the last decade has been in regenerative medicine. The future of medicine, therefore, lies in understanding how the human body is created from a single cell. That is why some of the best minds in scientific medical research have been brought together at the McEwen Center for Regenerative Medicine. You can consider stem cells as the building blocks of the human body. At the McEwen Center, we use these stem cells to produce human cell types and tissues to treat patients. I'm delighted to be here, and one of the reasons is the McEwen Center is the place that developed the first functioning heart muscle cells. Blood-forming stem cells were discovered in Toronto more than 50 years ago. At the McEwen Center, we're building on this legacy. Toronto is the place where insulin was discovered, and we want to take this discovery to the next level by generating cells that produce insulin and deliver a cure for type 1 diabetes. Right now, we're producing liver cells and blood vessels. The goal is to mix them together so that we can inject them and provide a therapy for liver disease. We will use our cartilage made from stem cells to treat patients with osteoarthritis. We are the world's first to discover how to generate pacemaker cells from stem cells. These are human pacemaker cells made from stem cells. Look at this, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Our key goal is to build on discovery of cancer stem cells to figure out what makes these cells tick, find their Achilles heel, and develop a targeted therapy so that when people could get a therapy that eliminates all cells, including the cancer stem cells. What we're doing here can really change the world because we will not only treat disease, we want to cure them. And I'm really excited to be part of that here at the McEwen Center. The real goal is to have patients that walk around thinking about the disease that they had, not a disease that they have. And I know they were working in a lab in a sterile environment. It doesn't mean a lot to you, but it will mean a lot to the patient because whatever we do here is going to save their life. The McEwen Center brings together the finest scientists in their field, an international team working together. And their goal? 
to eliminate some of the world's deadliest diseases. And success is a lot closer than you might think. In the past five years, we've accelerated our research from the bench to be ready to move to patients. We hope to be treating patients before you know it, but we need your help. The goal is to cure type 1 diabetes. We want to improve the lives of people with heart failure. That's our goal, and we're going to achieve it. I can do it. And with your support, we can do it. Join us. Work with us. Help us get there. Help us get there. We don't just believe in change. We are creating it. We are creating it. The discoveries and advances being made at the McEwen Center are for all of us. For your mother. Your father. Your brother. Your family. For your children. For you. This is for you. For you. This is about our future. And it's up to each of us to make it happen.